Dazzlers. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope that you are safe and doing well. In today's video, I share with you simple but elegant home decor DIYs using inexpensive items like these battery operated lights that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree. Now let's get started. For idea number one, I began by removing the battery covers. I then used a strong adhesive to glue two of the lights together. I let the glue dry for about 30 minutes before adding small mirrored tiles that I already had at home. You can usually find these tiles at your local craft store or on Amazon. Next, I'm also using two hectagon mirrors also from Dollar Tree. I removed the mirror from its frame, but I've re-added the cardboard and added hot glue to help keep it in place. I then used a strong adhesive to glue the mirror to the top of the frame instead. I then used Gorilla Clear Construction Adhesive to glue the battery operated lights on top. And in case you're wondering, I removed the covers so that I don't accidentally glue them to the lights or to the mirrors and they remain removable. I then allowed both pieces to dry for a full 24 hours. The following day, I'm able to add my batteries, test my lights, and here's how I did number one turned out. For idea number two, I'm using these Dollar Tree metal photo frames as well as more of the hectagon mirrors. I'm again gluing three of the mirrors to the top of their frames. I then removed the contents and the black tabs from two more of the frames before gluing the frames on top. Next, I added my gold metal frames. The following day, I decided to add these gold metallic Dollar Tree candle holders that I purchased several years ago but wasn't using. And here's how I did number two turned out. Here's a completely different design using those same metal frames and mirrors. For this idea, I'm also adding two Dollar Tree folding shelves to make this design a bit more functional. The first thing I did was use the screws that came with the shelves to attach one of the frames on top.
I had some of those same floating shelf screws left over from previous projects, so I used them to screw together all three pieces. Adding the third shelf made this design a bit heavier than I expected, so I ended up re-adding the cardboard and adding some craft sticks to make the design a bit more sturdy. I hung this design using these screw holes on the back of the floating shelves and here's how I did number three turned out. I really like how all three projects turned out. I think they're beautiful. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I would love to hear from you. Which one is your favorite this week? I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, Dazzlers, bye.